What up everyone, this is Ace with another Madden Online head-to-head -head gameplay video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to lock down a high-powered offense like the New Orleans Saints. So I'm the Chiefs once again. I have six victories now on online head-to-head -head as the Chiefs, so four more to go until I switch over to the next team. And most likely, I'm going to go with an NFC team. So I'm going to do kind of like AFC, NFC, AFC, NFC. So Saints... Start off first on offense uh, from the 19 yard line. I'm using one of my inside linebackers. He's going with his single back play on our center and he's able to make a quick read to his uh, tight end over the middle. So he's going no huddle. Second down and one. Uh, now he's going to run the ball to Kamara. So Kamara is able to pick up a nice gain on the ground and once again he's in no huddle. So he's basically. He has me in my cover two defense. You can see two high safeties and he's taking advantage and this time he's going to go over the middle on a drag route to Thomas and he's able to make uh, my slow as mud Chiefs defenders miss and he's able to take it to the house for the touchdown. So he's able to get an early lead. So of course you're probably thinking, how am I locking down the defense? If uh, or how am I locking down this high powered Saints offense if I let them just go down the field in three plays and score on me? Well, think of it this way the first drive of any game is basically r for research. You're basically uh, trying to learn and pick up on your opponent's tendencies. So I saw that he likes to pass from under center from a single back wing pair, a uh, single back formation. So Anyway, I'm on offense now, so it's my, uh, my chance to retake the lead here. So I generally like to start off by running the ball, and I like to go out of single back ace close with my uh, HP stretch to the left, and I'm able to be make a nice move right through my blockers and pick up a, a, a much needed first down, especially letting up a touchdown uh, very quickly. So I'm going to switch out of that formation, go into gun a slot offset, which allows me to run the ball as well as pass the ball equally well. So I changed some, made some uh, switches to my audible. So uh, nothing, uh, no pass plays coming into play on this one, but I'm just going to go with an inside zone run to the left and pick up a uh, short gain, but a respectable gain of four yards. So I'm going to go back to ace close and going to run the ball here on uh, second down and I'm able to get uh, pretty close to a first down so third and one I'm gonna go with the safe play but I'm not gonna run the ball in the right direction you can see I have fewer blockers he has more defenders here on the right hand side and indeed I get stuffed when trying to pick up that first down so 14 inches I'm gonna go with the pass and uh, indeed I'm able to go to mesh switch out of gun tight slots in the New England Patriots pay, uh, playbook and I'm able to pick up a nice first down on a drag route to Watkins. Stretch play out of single back ace close and this time I'm able to pick up a, a nice solid gain uh, running the ball this time to the right hand side. So I'm in a gun ace slot offset and in the post play so I can go to McCoy, I can go to Kelsey, I can go to Hill on the uh, post route but I'm able to get to Kelsey very quickly since he was in man coverage on the uh, corner route so I'm gonna go back to uh, ace close again uh, or slot offset I should say and I'm able to get a nice gain on the ground on an inside zone run with McCoy. First and goal now the, the seconds trickling down in the first quarter and I'm just going to run the ball again and before the quarter even expires I'm able to get the ball into the end zone with LaShawn McCoy for the touchdown. So even though I was able to let the Saints uh, <laughs> rack catch me and get into the end zone relatively quickly in the, in the beginning of the game I was able to regain the lead in the first quarter uh, with that nice methodical drive of uh, that was basically run heavy with some passes uh, or did I just run the whole time <laughs> in the first quarter so run heavy drive against the Saints to pick up uh, to retake the lead and make this a tie game so still very early second quarter Saints have the ball back this time on their 27 yard line they had a much better return this time uh, and now he's going to run the ball with Kamara because he had some success with running the ball in the previous draft he had one big rush and he's able to uh, return that with another big rush uh, on his second drive. 
So he's in single back again. He's running the ball with Kamara. He made my uh, he juke the pants off of my defender there, and he's able to pick up just a three-yard gain. So I'm thinking pass this time. Now that he's run pretty well on the first two drives, and Breeze is able to get the ball off to Hill and hit stick fumble. My strong safety, the Honey Badger, with the recovery. So now I have the ball back in excellent field position at the 45-yard line. I'm going to motion Kelsey to the left to give myself uh, one extra blocker, but no matter, it didn't make a difference. Blown up in the backfield for a loss of four yards. This time I'm going to go inside zone with McCoy, uh, trying to pick up a respectable gain on second down. And I've, I've shown that I can run pretty effectively on this guy. I'm able to pick up a nice 13-yard gain third down and one and I don't know if he was coming out in a field goal block or what but he decided to take a timeout. I'm going back to gun uh, uh, tight slots and I will go with my favorite uh, mesh switch play and indeed I'm able to deliver the ball to Watkins on the drag route same thing that happened in the first quarter I'm able to take advantage of that once again for the first down so uh, Got a slot offset and McCoy up the middle on the inside zone. Second down and six. I'm already in field goal range, baby, at the 28 yard line, so I'm just gonna milk this clock down and run the ball on the inside zone with McCoy. Two minute warning. The clock is on my side, and right now the momentum is also on my side because. I'm in scoring range, so all I have to do is make sure that he doesn't get the ball back uh, in this uh, first half. So two minutes left to go, third down and two, but you know what? I'm going to stay in the same formation, uh, gun a slot offset, but I'm going to go with a pass this time uh, using the post play. So I can see that it looks like he's in blitz formation, and it looks like he's, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to bring this play clock down as close to one as possible and I'm able to hit McCoy over the middle on that Texas route that nice angle route so first down and 10 from the 14 yard line same formation but different play this time I'm going to it looks like I'm set up now in the level sale and that was a big mistake because I was thinking of going to my second tight end on that corner route so sacked on that Switch out of gun a slot offset. Now I'm in gun bunch because I want to go and hit a quick dot on this second down. Uh, and I'm keeping my eyes on the clock too. I want to make sure this play clock bleeds down as much as possible. And I'm going to just pick up as many yards as I can. Oh, that was a close one. That could have easily been a fumble. But third down and three picked up a chunk of yards on that second down play. And down to 20 seconds left in the uh, first half. And I thought I had Hill on this nice corner route. Possession catched it, but one foot was unfortunately out of bounds, as you can see on this replay right here. Mahomes with the bullet to Hill, but Hill was not able to keep both feet in down, uh, in bounds. So therefore, fourth and three, and I'm just going to settle for the field goal here and extend this game to 10 to seven. So 12 seconds left on the clock. It would have been better if he had zero seconds left on the clock, uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to see if I can bottle him, or bottle him up on this uh, kickoff return, and I'm able to now just leave him with six seconds left on the clock. Six seconds left, and more than likely he's going to go with a run, although I wouldn't be surprised if he passes the ball here, and indeed he's able to hit Thomas, or try to hit Thomas on that streak route. So he's going aggressive here. He's going to see if he can uh, pick up a, another quick touchdown on me, but I'm in my cover two defense here. I'm trying to guard against that deep pass, and indeed he's able to connect with Thomas on the same route this time, on the same route combination, streak route, but not enough time left in the uh, first half. So end of first half, and I get the ball back after halftime. So I have Hill back returning the kickoff, and I'm not going to risk a turnover here. Uh, on a return so I'm going to take a knee in the end zone and I'm going to go back to single back ace close motion Kelsey to the left and I'm going to run McCoy off on my HB stretch to the left 
and I'm able to make the first defender miss, the second defender I'm able to truck right through him, uh, get it down a second down in inches, and I have my blocking set up on the right hand side, so it would be better if I ran it all over to the right, instead I decide to run it on the left, and that's why I don't pick up that first down. You gotta, you gotta keep track of where your blockers are, where, where, where do you have the best blocking in front of you. So right side, and this time I, I am indeed able to pick up a first down. Uh, first down and 10 from the 42 yard line, and I am just running the ball, a ball and I believe I, uh, I have shoot clock already activated. So that's another key to locking down a high powered offense. You want to uh, play ball control offense, so that means uh, plenty of runs, but at the same time you're bleeding the clock as much as possible. And you can do that by uh, going shoot clock right after you have a lead over your opponent. So I had just a three point lead here, so I'm just going shoot clock and I'm trying to essentially devour this entire third quarter. So another stretch run, second down and two, second and short. So I'm just gonna go inside zone here. I could go left or right, and I'm able to maneuver around his uh, linebacker there and pick up the first. So true clock, uh, active. First down and 10, stretch play, and this was a big mistake because I went backwards instead of uh, angling inside or at least sticking this dude. But third, uh, third quarter is now over, fourth quarter, it looks like his safeties are inside a little bit, so I was thinking that maybe I could hit Hill. I could possibly hit Hill on that uh, uh, post route uh, inside of his post play, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to roll out. I'm thinking I have Hill open, but he drifts his, uh, uh, his secondary player back, and he's able to get the pick. Ouch, that pick really hurt. Now he's at the 20-yard line and he's in position to retake the lead. But it's always nice to have a lockdown defense. So I do let up a big p play on the first down. He's able to get it down to his 45 yard line. But it's now time to play good defense against uh, an offense like the New Orleans Saints offense. Because my goal here, at least when I was playing this game at the time, was to hold him at the, at the very least to a field goal or at the most <laughs> to a field goal because I want to make sure that I have enough time left on the clock to drive down the field and kick the game winning field goal but perhaps I underestimated my defense so let's continue to watch and see how the defense performs here so he's able to dump it off to Kamara on the wheel route and I'm able to uh, gang tackle him down for a short gain so just a four yard gain there on first and uh, on first down so he's already in field goal range at the 33 yard line he has Kamara once again wide open but he decides to go with Thomas and that looks very much like the first play uh, uh, or should I say the third play from scrimmage of the game that allowed him to score a touchdown he's able to uh, pick up the first down on that and Kamara with the stretch run and I'm able to knock him down behind the line for a uh, loss of one so that's deep that's just defense right there so once again, he's in that single back uh, three tight end for formation. He dumps it off on the wheel route. He basically has Kamara open all day on that wheel route. He's able to get it down to the 18 yard line, third and five. And he's still in the same formation. He has Kamara wide open once again on the wheel route as uh, his Thomas open on that. So drag route, but once again, he's not able to pick up the first down on that. So fourth and three. So I have not blitzed this dude the entire game. So I decided to blitz him for the very first time. So he's in the same single back wing tight. So he should be able to pick up my cover four blitz, right? So cover four blitz, blitz all linebackers and send my D lineman at him, seven men. And they're able to converge on him at the 19 yard line. And I'm able to get the ball back. Turnover on downs, baby. That is defense. And not just any defense, a lockdown defense, baby. So 19 yard line, less than two minutes to go in the game. It's time to just play conservative here. So I'm gonna go ahead, motion Kelsey off to the left side. I'm still not getting, okay. So now he shifted uh, one of his players back. So now I'm gonna instead run it to the right or run it up the middle with the uh, HB zone weak play. So now 
Second down and seven. Second down and seven. Uh, and he looks like he's sending the pressure. He's sending the heat. He's expecting me to run inside zone. So I'm lucky that I set my audibles up when I uh, at the beginning of the game for gain for gun a slot offset, and I'm able to go for the screen pass, and he gets me with the face mask. So that's a 15-yard penalty for him. So that moves the ball up by 15 yards, and now I'm on my 33-yard line. Thanks, Saints user. So first down and 10 from the 33, and it looks like, uh, so he's not blitzing here. So I'm going to go ahead and just run the ball. Uh, inside zone, flipped it to the right. Ah, oh, and he got me with the face mask again. Really? Face mask? Two times in a row? So that, get, that gives me another 15 yards. So I'm at the 50 yard line now, inside zone. You better believe I'm going inside zone. I'm gonna run this clock down. So 134 left and timeout taken by the Saints. So second down and nine. And he has one timeout left. Gonna be very crucial if he wants to make a comeback. So second down and nine here. Same formation and I am going to go inside zone. I'm not going to risk a pass here because it looks like he's going to bring pressure. So I'm audibling down instead to the uh, slip screen because I see the pressure. And unfortunately, I'm not able to get the ball off in time and I get sacked. So now, instead of facing a second and manageable, or a third and manageable that could have been if I just went with the zone play. It's a third and long and I switch out of formations. I'm in gun tight up slots and I'm thinking that I can hit Hill on the corner out there or at least get Watkins on a drag route. So I ignore Watkins on the drag route and I go with Hill on the corner route and somehow his cornerback gets the interception there on the sideline which is just crazy. He had two people. It's, it looks like Hill was manned up on the sideline there on that corner out so that allowed him to get the interception and now he's on the 40 yard line on his own 40 yard line great position to get a field goal and he throws it deep to Thomas on the first play cornerback knocks it out into the waiting arms of Thornhill my free safety my stud free safety there that 95 jump made all the difference and made enough difference for him to just call it quits right here. He had enough of this. Lockdown defense is too much for this guy. And indeed, he is conceding. So, there you go. That was, uh, that was a win. All thanks in part to my lockdown defense against him. So, lockdown defense key, especially when your offense has an off team, uh, as you saw here in this game. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and be sure to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I post a brand new video. Until next time, peace.